Hey everyone, welcome back to Fragrance Collection. It's a new year, 2023. We made it through 2022. I appreciate you guys for sticking by and welcome back. I made the announcement on my Instagram that this will be the only place I do my videos. So if you are following me here, welcome. You will get to see my video reviews. 2023, there are a lot of new releases. I'm a little intimidated. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have all the money <laughs> to afford all of these new releases. I mean, we've got new releases from Marc Jacobs, from Escada, from Parfums de Marly, from Mugler, from uh, Maison Magella Replica, from Valentino. They just announced a Donna Born and Roma Intense version. I'm like so excited for that. I love Donna Born and Roma. There are so many coming. There's another Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Um, I think it's called Blush. There's so much coming. And I'm going to try to get everything I can for you guys. So I can review it and give you my honest opinion. But I started with three things. Because this was the first three things that came out to Ulta. <laughs> I have a bunch of gift cards. And I have points galore. And I have them mainly at Sephora and Ulta. I don't have anything at Macy's. So... I'm trying to pick up a few things at Sephora, and I'm trying to pick up a few things at Ulta to even out my gift cards and my money, but it's it's not been going well. I had a haul that I did, if you watched on my Instagram, I've been posting reels and pictures that I did around my birthday, and nothing worked. Everything but one thing. I kept Spice Balm Infrared by Victor and Rolf. It's, it's awesome. Um, everything else I returned. I, I got like a Lake and Sky fragrance, a O-U-A-I. I don't know how you pronounce the brand, but it's O-U-A-I. Maybe it's Oi or Way. I thought it was Quay. I thought it was a Q, but it's an O. Um, I got Bondi Beach or North, North Bondi for Bondi Beach. It's an Australian brand. I got, um, what else did I get? I got a couple of different things, but they all were awful. I didn't even want to review them for you guys. The most I've talked about them is just now. I returned every single one of them. So I had like $200 in money back to Ulta. And I had like over $130 in credit and points. So I picked up some new stuff for us. So out of the 2023 releases, Marc Jacobs did a paradise line of Daisy Love, Daisy, and Daisy Oh So Fresh. I went to Ulta and I tested all three. And I fell in love with Daisy Love Paradise. So we will be unboxing and testing this one. I already know what it smells like, but I want to go over it with you guys. Did not pick up Daisy and did not pick up the Oh So Fresh. If I were to get one more to the lineup, it would be Daisy, but we'll talk about that in a minute. While there, I also tested the new Escada, which I also got, and that's Santorini Sunrise. This one we have to chat about. This is an interesting release. And then amongst all of the releases, there was an announcement that they were doing another Marc Jacobs Perfect, and it's the Edit Toilette version, and I got that. They just released this at Ulta, so I went and picked it up. So, here we go. What I want to review for you guys first is the Escada, because we're going to have to talk a little more about the Marc Jacobs. And I also want to quickly disclaimer, I'm filming in a different way. I'm filming with my brand new AirPods in to help kind of with the audio. So if I don't love the way it sounds or looks, I won't do this again. But I wanted to switch it up. New year, new me, you know, kind of thing. So I always try to film in different ways, different looks. I don't want to just be the same person that films their face, holding a perfume, talking in a monotone voice, which I should probably do because there's a lot of reviewers that do that. And they have like 300,000 followers, but whatever. I don't want to be like them. So anyways, hopefully this is working for you guys. Escaping with Escada, Santorini Sunrise is a limited edition fragrance by Escada. I only have one other Escada fragrance. I owned two. I had the ch ch Cherry in Japan. Um, I did not keep it. It was kind of bland. And that's my issue with Escada fragrances. They're either 50-50. They're really great or they are really bland. The only one that I have is a really large bottle of Flor del Sol. Um, I don't use this a lot because a little goes a long way with Flor del Sol. I wear this only in the summer and spring. When I do wear this, I get an intense amount of compliments. Um, this has a really sweet, syrupy, tequila, 
almost kind of raspberry, like juicy floral vibe. Um, every time I wear this, people ask me what I'm wearing and come up to me and just compliment me. So I like it. I feel like this is going to be the same way. So this has a blue bottle that goes from a dark navy to clear. When I tested this at Ulta, I paper tested it. And y'all, I was shook at the way this smelled. So beautiful. It is so fragrant. I am obsessed with it. I'm going to pop the notes up here for you guys and let you know what they are. It is so sweet and floral. I love it. Um, to me, Santorini is coastal. Really, you know, fruity, floral, oceany is what I get from this. I thought it would be lemon, which I was worried about, and there's no lemon at all in this. It's super fresh, super, super sweet. The interesting thing is, on paper, the longevity for this is insane. I got the tester of this, wrote the name on it, took it home. I want to say it lasted on paper tester for about three to four days. Three to four days on a paper tester. That's insane. That never happens. It fills the... It fills the room very, very, very densely. Um, it's so strong. It has a really, really fruity, sweet depth to it. I don't want to spray it on my skin, but I kind of do. So I did not skin test it. I'm going to just do the top of my hand just to see what we think. But it has a great sprayer. It's an edit toilet, which I kind of don't believe because the intense... Yeah, this is good. This is so fruity and fresh. It kind of reminds me of some other fragrances I have, but like a bunch of them. So there's not like one thing that I can go, oh, that's a dupe of. This reminds me of a lot of things. But this is fresh. This is so aquatic and fresh. Um, I didn't pop for the large bottle. I went for the 1.6. I didn't go for the smallest, but I didn't go for the biggest. This was right in the middle. I want to say this was $68 for the middle or maybe $80. I don't remember, but it wasn't outrageous. I don't feel like the most expensive bottle was very expensive either or the highest um, fluid ounce bottle was very expensive. Escada fragrances are never very expensive though. Very good longevity though on paper. We'll see how long this lasts on my skin. I will probably do a wear test of this this week, but this is kind of first impression again with you guys in unboxing. Immediate impression though, beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Gorgeous. Super fruity, super fresh. I get kind of almost like raspberry, blueberry, plum, peachy. I get lots of fruits, but I get really fresh, clean, vibrant floral too. It's just, it's so good. Next, we're going to go into the Paradise Edition of Marc Jacobs Love, Daisy Love, and we'll discuss. So Daisy Love, Marc Jacobs Paradise. Daisy Love was a flanker. Or no, I think Daisy Love was its own. And then there's Daisy Love Oh So Sweet, Daisy Love spring daisy love twilight or twinkle there's a couple different ones my first daisy love was the the spring edition which was the green one and i hated it i didn't well i didn't hate it i just didn't like it it was very um grassy and too earthy for me i have daisy love oh so sweet i picked this up from macy's on one of the macy's sales and this is phenomenal this is so sugary and sweet and really, really good. I want to test it on a piece of paper because I want to see if it has any comparisons to Paradise. I haven't worn this a lot. I just got this maybe October, September, October of this past year. So I haven't had a lot of wear time with Daisy Love. Oh, so sweet. But 
when I did wear it, I was really impressed. I thought, geez, why have I been sleeping on this scent? Because this is wonderful. And when I posted this on my Instagram, I got an, an intense review from people. Everybody commented, everybody liked the reel and the, and the post. Everybody's like, ooh, yeah, Daisy Love, oh, so sweet, is the girl. She's the one. I love her. That's my scent. I had no idea. Like, I definitely slept on this fragrance and did not know it was as well received as it was. And it's good. It's better on skin than it is on paper, but I do remember it being very, very good. Um, it's almost a little bit pedestrian. It's like, oh, it's a sweet, syrupy scent, but something about it when you wear it, there's like a musk to it and like a soft floral. I probably will even pop up the notes about it too, just for you guys to see. It's so good. There's a sweetness in Daisy Love, oh so sweet. That reminds me of Marc Jacobs Perfect. There's this really sweet candy, like Jolly Rancher smell to Perfect that I get from oh so sweet. And I just love it. It's really good. But we're here to talk about Paradise. So here is Daisy Love Paradise. I don't feel like it's as pretty as I thought it would be. Um, what size is this? This is 1.6. This is 1.6. That's so weird. So this is the same size as this, but the, the floor, the flower on the top of this is bigger than this. And I feel like this bottle is bigger. The bottles might be the same size. But the lids are not. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely bigger. The Paradise topper is bigger than the Oh So Sweet topper. And the bottles, while they are virtually the exact same size glass-wise, look at the, the Automizer tops. The Paradise one is beefier than the Oh So Sweet. Very weird. I wonder why. Maybe they redid the bottle. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. That makes me think that there's something wrong with this one. No, this is 50 milliliter by Osa Sweet. Okay. When I went into Ulta and smelled this, they didn't have a bottle. They just had the tester. They didn't have one in the box. Had they, I would have bought it that day. This is so good, you guys. This lasted about two days on paper, two solid days. The second day in the evening, it turned it off. But it was so good. This is more violety, irisy. I'll pop the notes up as well. I feel like this has a lot more floral in it. It is way more musky purple florals. Like, I get iris a lot in this. I smell iris. Yeah, I get like violets and iris. Um, there is a scent that I love by Sarah Jessica Parker called Covet or Pure Bloom. And it's like an iris, violet, purple, floral. Paradise is very much reminiscent of Covet Pure Bloom. Mm, it's so fresh. There's a little bit of the, the daisy. Oh, so sweet. That sweet, musky. This is a little more floral musky. They're not the same. So if you have Oh, so sweet, Daisy Love, and you want to get Paradise, they're different. They don't smell that much like. Actually, they don't smell like at all. There's some f sweetness, but this is so different. This is more floral, and it has that sweetness, like, oh so sweet, but it has that same sweetness that a lot of fragrances that are out have. Um, I think it might be jasmine, or maybe like an orange blossom, maybe even the two bros. You can probably hear my dog scratching at the door. I'm sorry, he won't leave me alone. But I get a lot of earthy floral. Um, a lot of Marc Jacobs since to me, don't use florals. 
in the right way. One of my favorite Marc Jacobs scents that just never wore well on me that smelled great was Dot. Dot always smelled great and then when I wore it, it stunk. But Dot had a really good earthy floral vibe and it just never wore well on me but it smelled good on other people and it smelled good when it sprayed but then it sucked on me. Um, I had Dot and I got rid of it. It was such a cute bottle too. I love little ladybugs. I almost got it back again just for the bottle but I didn't. I'm trying to not do that. Yeah this is so good. It smells good mixed with the Santorini Sunrise by Stata. Yeah, this is good. I like this one a lot. Um, out of the three, like I said, it was my favorite. I did keep the little tester spray of Daisy. I only like Daisy Hot Pink Edition, which I will show you guys. I have the Hot Pink Edition of Daisy. To me, it's the most strong, the most potent Daisy. I had the original Daisy, and it was all right. It smelled like everything else. There's a Chanel fragrance that pretty much copied Daisy. I'm pretty sure Daisy was out first. Um, the Chanel Chance. It smells exactly like Daisy. There are a gazillion knockoffs of Daisy. There's a lot of fragrances that smell like it. But this, to me, the hot pink edition of Daisy was always the best Daisy. There are a gazillion flankers of Daisy. Every time I smell them, they smell like Daisy. They all go back to the same thing. The thing I like about Love, I've now smelled three different Loves, Paradise, It Was So Sweet, and then that Spring edition. They're all totally different. They don't share a similar DNA, really. They kind of have a sweetness. But everything that flankers Daisy smells just like Daisy. I will say, though, the Daisy Paradise smelled the most different at first. On paper, it warmed up and smelled like Daisy. If I get extra money or a gift card, or I want to buy it at Macy's and then maybe return it if it really doesn't work out, I might try Daisy or Daisy Paradise. I did think the bottle was cute, but I just am afraid it's going to end up smelling like Daisy, which wouldn't be the end of the world because this is feeling a little light. Um, I don't feel like there's much left in this. I don't know. This is also old. I've had this for years. I don't know when I got this. This um, release announced for Perfect at a Toilet. I was super excited because I love the Perfect lineup. So I have Perfect in the largest bottle possible. I adore it. Um, I've put a pretty good dent in it. I love this scent. I don't wear it a lot, but I do love it. Um, I got this off eBay for a really good deal. It came with a tester bottle um, box. Came with a tester box. I love Perfect. Perfect is so sweet and fruity. I'll pop the notes up for you guys. I love this. It's got rhubarb in it, which rhubarb is one of my favorite scents, um, one of my favorite notes. I have a lot of fragrances that have rhubarb, and I always worry that they're going to smell the same. Um, Rhubarb is extremely powerful. It's extremely dense. It's extremely succulent. But the rhubarb in this is different than rhubarb in a lot of fragrances. It's extremely tangy. Perfect to me, like I had said earlier, reminds me of like a sweet Jolly Rancher. Um, I just like this. Every time I wear it, it is like just comforting. It's a sweet cherry rhubarb, sexy, fun, flirty floral. I enjoy it quite a bit. It doesn't have the world's best longevity. I feel like Perfect is about maybe four hours. It does better in heat than it does cool weather, but I do enjoy it. Um, I have not worn it in a while though, so maybe I'll pull it out since I've got the Edit Toilette. They released Intense Perfect, Intense, which I just have the 1.7 fluid ounce of, or 1.6, which that's what this is. I was given this as a gift for Christmas last year for my husband. And this is totally different than Perfect. This is darker, sexier. It's more gourmand. It is like almonds and cherry and rhubarb. 
Thank Jergens Cherry Lotion with almond and rhubarb. That's perfect intense. Um, I also put a pretty good dent in it for how many fragrances I have and how often it is, you know, difficult for me to wear fragrances because I have so many, but I really like this one. Every single time I wear this, I get compliments. I get more compliments when I wear intense than I do when I wear perfect. Perfect intense is a compliment giver. Um, I also have had more people when I wear perfect intense ask me, what is that? Not because they liked it, because they wanted it. Um, I've had at least two to three people go and buy perfect intense because I was wearing it and they liked it so much. So perfect intense is probably the better of the two. But now we have three. We have perfect at a toilette. I don't really know why they made an edit toilette, but I feel like everybody has an edit toilette of everything. So this should be a lighter, softer, muskier, more lemon version of Perfect. I love the bottle. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. So it is, it's really clean, crisp glass. All of the adornments are more soft baby blues. Um, you still have the cherry, but it's like a lighter cherry. You have a blue glassy shoe. You have like a baby blue balloon. So here we have, you know, the gold balloon and the gold yellow shoe. So that's your comparison to those two. And then here with the original, we have the silver balloon and, you know, the actual banana. This one's gold. Um, and then you have like the purple shoe and the dark cherry. So, and then the little kitty cat with white here. It's kitty cat's baby blue. Your big ribbon is white versus baby blue versus black. So it's just like inverted, um, super cute. It looks like a gift you would give somebody having a baby boy. Like, you know, like a Tiffany's, like a Tiffany um, rattle give them a Marc Jacobs perfect at a toilet, which is what I would do. I'm that guy that gifts you. I would, I gift you a, um, perfume. <laughs> I hate to give gifts and not give a perfume. Like everybody expects to get a perfume from me. I love the bottles. They're so kitschy. I just, I, I love a kitschy bottle. I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. So cute. I don't know which one's my favorite. I like them all. Hmm, I don't know. I really like this one. This one's super cute. Bottle is a 10 out of 10. I always love their bottles. Marc Jacobs bottles are always cute though. So I'm gonna paper test and then I'm gonna put it on this hand and this arm because this arm and hand have not been tested yet. Nothing has been tested on. Okay, so. First initial spray, it smells just like perfect, but fruitier. I'm really saturating my arm. I want to smell this. Mmm. Okay, so I used the wrong word. It's not fruitier. It is powdery. -er. <laughs> it's more powdery than perfect. It doesn't smell anything like Intense. They have no similarities at all. They are just sisters. Again, with the weird shaped bottles. Look, the glass is bigger on the Etta Toilette. This is weird. They're both the same shape and the same size, but they're not. This one's bigger than this. What's up with that? Maybe they redid the bottles. Maybe they're using bigger glass. I don't know. This is bigger than that. Anyways. This smells the most like perfect, which it's just the Etta Toilette version of this. I get that. Oh gosh, this smells so good. Oh wow. Oh. Mm. Winner. This might be my favorite now. Oh guys, this is so pretty. Okay, perfect at a toilet is gorgeous. 
there's like a little bit of a spice to it. Like there's some bitey, like a woody and broccasin. Is there woods in this? Again, I'm going to put up the notes. I don't know. Okay, so it reminds me of Repica's Bubble Bath. Bubble Bath has like this kind of cologne, spicy, like face wash, aftershave note to it. But then it also gives you this super comforting baby, baby bath, bubble bath, bubbly softness. That's what this is giving. I get almost a little hint of like a dryer sheet and woodiness. Oh, this is so good. I don't get any fruits, though. I get, like, musky, white, cotton, and wood. And there's a sweetness wrapped up in there, which you get from Perfect, but... Oh, my God, this is so good. This is really good. Wow. These are all good releases. But these are so good. I will probably repurchase these if I use these but I have so many damn fragrances this is the perfect size I don't think you need to go any bigger I know they probably make a three fluid ounce or two and I know they make a three or bigger of this you don't necessarily need them this is enough but this is so good mm. babe definitely have to say perfect and yeah the perfect at a toilet is my favorite that's it. Those are our first three releases that I grabbed for us to discuss. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have many more coming. I don't know when. Um, eyeballing the new Givenchy Irresistible Rose. I'm eyeballing the new Paco Rabanne Fame. And I'm eyeballing... What else is coming possibly soon? That's really it. the only things that I know I can get. Um, I think the next thing that will probably come out will be the Carolina Herrera. So those three might be next. I do know that the Valentino will be out in February. So maybe in about a month, we'll have maybe three to five more fragrances to review. Uh, I hope I can get them. <laughs> we will see. Well, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell. I appreciate your patronage and returned comments. For those of you that consistently comment, thank you. And that is all. I will see you next time with hopefully more releases from 2023. Thanks. Bye-bye.